Hi everyone, this video is for beginners or anyone that doesn't know what texturizing is and one of my loyal subscribers says that she's transitioning from relaxed, I think it was, to, trans um, to texturizing. So I think this video will be helpful for so many people as I haven't actually had a separate video that is telling you key points. It's all been in bits because I've had my journey progressing over the year. So yeah, I just thought I'll do this video and I thought it would be of use to most of you. In case anyone hasn't seen, I used a Just For Me texture softener and it has two children at the front. And after using this texturizer, I believe that this is specially formulated and it's just out there for texturizing hair because every time I use it, I get the results I want. Sometimes I could go a bit over time by accident, but I still get the results I want. So it's a recommended thing that I would recommend to you. If you want to see the way I apply the texturizer to my hair, I will put the link below for this video. But in future, as my hair gets longer, I'll do a follow-up video to show you how I texturize my hair as my hair gets longer. So there are a couple of key points I want to cover. The first thing is change the way you apply your um, texturizer to your hair. I don't know whether you self-relax slash text lax. Um, what I mean by that is um, be conscious of the like when you first start applying it to your hair, the side you start off with. Basically, I've been starting off with my right side, um, and the last two applications were on my right side. So next time, the first um, side I'll start with is my left side, and I believe you should start with the side that um, grows the thickest. So basically, I wouldn't start my I wouldn't start applying to the front of my hair because I feel that that grows the slowest and it's um, more prone to damage because um, your edges are more prone to damage; they're more sensitive. So I start in the middle. So that's how I start. So next time I apply, I'm going to start this way going down. So I'll update you on that. And if I look to this side, it's because I've got a list of things I need to, you know, read out. So, yeah. Um, learn to love your hair. I remember this time last year when I started transitioning and it was really short and I had to like just think up styles, create styles at random to try and complement the way it looked or just to try and protect it. And most of them involve like twisting the front. If you know, if you guys know, you may or may not know, but I'll twist like the front back and then have like um, clipped up just in a protective style. But you need to learn to um, love your hair because most likely you'll be stretching long and um, you would have to deal with the thicker, th thicker texture. So if you want to texturize, you have to already be comfortable, already be ready to just go with it and when I first started um, I wasn't as comfortable as I am now obviously it was hard at first it wasn't easy but I knew what I wanted from my hair and I knew how thin it was and I really wanted to make a change so I learned to love my hair as the journey progressed um, moisture is very important because you're going to be dealing with the relax if you were relaxed before then that's a different story if you're natural and you want to texturize and that's also a different story I can only give um, feedback on my own journey and I was relaxed before and I was transitioning to texturized so you need to make sure that all of your hair is important I mean <laughs> you need to make sure that all of your hair is moisturized it's very important that you do so because I mean some people say that the ends are more important the regrowth is more important but the whole hair strand is equally as important I know some areas you need to focus on more maybe add more moisturizer to like the roots and I wasn't used to the way my roots were so very dry because I was used to having relaxed hair that didn't take too much to keep moisturised. So it was a big jump for me. So you need to make sure that your hair is moisturised well. Um, keep up with your um, weekly deep conditioners. Um, go between um, protein and moisture depending on what, you're, what you feel your hair needs. But you would need to learn that progressively as time goes on because the way your re relaxed hair will behave is not the same as how your natural slashed texturized hair will behave so it's a whole new thing that you need to learn for yourself and you might have setbacks along the way but it should be fine as long as you get the hang of what you're doing um definitely educate yourself on what you're doing watch people online that are on the same journey as you or maybe have gone further um down the journey than you um definitely read up up on it. I really do believe that texturizing is a very healthy way to look after your hair and still use chemicals. That's if you still want to use chemicals. So definitely educate yourself. 
definitely take pictures, do your videos or make write a journal just to keep up with your progress and your, your feelings on it. Now I can definitely look back on my videos and see how I felt at the time or what I was going through and compare it to now. So definitely keep track of what you're doing. Be consistent with your products now and in order to know what your hair likes you need to at least use something for at least three months. So try and be consistent and if your hair, the way you will know if your hair likes something is if it reacts in a good way to it. For example, you use a moisturising conditioner, you wash your hair out and your hair is not dry, that means your hair likes it. So try and work with that and the way that you you know your hair doesn't like something is if it's drying or something like that so just go with what your hair likes go with what your hair is is asking of you because your hair does communicate to you by how it, it it maintains itself so you will know by that um protective styling is definitely important i mean i protect i've been protective styling all year all year round because i just want to just keep the hair like up in one just leave it alone not manipulate it too much in the daytime the only time i'll need to touch it is in the nighttime when i'm preparing to go to bed so I'll just braid my hair back up but like I told you there was a point where I didn't know that I didn't I wasn't braiding at night and braiding my hair at night is the only thing that's kept my hair going so yeah just um, find out what your hair needs um, in terms of protective styling I've got a bun right now a high bun and you know stuff like that will retain moisture and definitely complement the journey because it's no good manipulating your hair and you're transitioning because the line that is the relaxed hair and the texturized hair meets it's it needs to be kept just it needs to be left alone basically that's what I'm trying to say I don't want to ramble on too much um be patient you need to be patient um more or less your hair will grow six inches a month if I mean a year if you're lucky um, some people's hair grows slower than that. I think my hair grows six inches a year, to be honest. Um, just just thinking back, I think it does. But you need to be patient. There were some points where I, I would look at my hair, I'll comb it down and look in the mirror. I'll take pictures and I'll just think, why is my hair still thin? You know, why is it still this way? But after some time, I saw some um, good progress. And it was definitely after my five months and two weeks stretch, um, I saw... Um, progress and I after that I felt like yeah um, this is really happening for me this is something that's working out and I felt like I had made the right choice because at one point I wasn't too sure but you definitely need to be patient um, I it took me a year yeah it took me a year and I'm still working on it now I still need to remove about an inch off my end so I'm still working on it but I'm nearly done um, definitely believe in yourself definitely pray about it if you don't do those things I don't it will it will be harder I mean some of you are non-believers and I, that's fine but if you are a believer then definitely put in prayer it's not stupid to put like hair in prayer at the end of the day God gave us our hair and if we're having a problem with it or if we have insecurities with it it's good to ask for strength to guide us and definitely believe in yourself that you can do it believe that you can reach your goals and that will definitely change the way you feel about your hair one more important thing that some of you may forget is to definitely base your scalp base your scalp and put um, Vaseline or something thick around the whole perimeter of your hair to protect your skin from the chemicals and also the ends of your hair the ends that the, the places that you don't want to um, any chemical to touch coat it with Vaseline or something of that thick nature to prevent um, so if any texturizer accidentally gets on it's okay because it's protected so this is for learners that want to learn how to do it it's okay for someone else to do it for you but it's, I think it's very good that you will know how to do it yourself so that's another tip and a very important tip that you definitely should incorporate in your regimen another thing is I'm thinking of um, changing up my products slightly um, I'm not gonna be a product junkie that's not what I'm getting at but in the next video I'll let you know what I'm talking about but I'm gonna go out and just get a few different things because there's certain things I've been using that I've kind of been drying to my actually one thing I've been using and I'll let you know that in the next video and one more thing is that my dad's going to Nigeria so um, I'm, I would should be able to ask my cousins to get me some shea butter and then pass it on to him and then bring it back to London so that's a maybe so don't get too excited but please let me know if you're interested and I can do another giveaway on shea butter because the people that I've given it to seem to have liked it so thank you so much for watching and take care till the next video bye